In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called merge k-sorted lists. So, you're basically given an array of k-length list lists. Each length list is sorted in a standard order. Merge all sorted link lists. Uh, merge all the link lists in, in, uh, into one sorted link list and return it. So you can see here we're given a array of link lists, and at the end we basically want to merge them all into one sorted link list, right? So at the end you can see we have something like this. And you can also see that if we have an empty array, or if we have a situation where we have a node is null, we can just basically skip, right? And you can see that at the end, we're basically just return null if it's empty or if there's a node that's null, right? So how can we solve this problem? So if we look at it this way, right? If we wanted to just break the problem down, like if we want to just merge those two link lists, right? In this case, to merge those two link lists, what we have to do is we just need two pointers, right? We just need a pointer that points to here, right? And another pointer points to here. And we compare who has the smallest value. In this case, one has the smallest value, or they're all equal, but let's just pick one. So we have one. And now we just move the pointer uh, one to the left, right? Well, sorry, one to the right. So now we have four. Four is bigger than one, so one is here, right? So we move this pointer. Uh, one to the right, right? So, and you can see that we have four and three, so three is smaller, so we have three here, and four, and four, and five at the end, right? So you can see that at the end, we basically get this. And once we've done that, we just have to continue to merge the remaining, right? In this case, this is our link list after we merge those two. Now we have to merge this array, oh, sorry, this link list, and this link list as well, right? So you can see that it says that there are an array of k link lists, right? So this is basically k. So this is k. So if we were to perform this algorithm, time complexity would be big O of k times n, right? n is the number of elements that we have in each link list. So to improve the time complexity for this solution, because right now what we have is we have a brute force approach where we have a time complexity of big O of n times k. So to improve this, what we can do is that we can use a heap, right? Because what, what we can do is that we can use a heap and basically we're going to have a min heap and then stores the smallest node, the, the node that has the smallest value at the top of the heap, right? So we have node one here and node one here and node two here. And this node one is pointing to node four, node four is pointing to node five, right? And this node one is pointing to node three, node three is pointing to node four. So basically, we're just going to have a heap that keeps track of the smallest value, right? The node that has the smallest value will be at the top of the heap. So basically, what we're going to do is that we're going to pop it off and we're going to add it onto our result list. And then we know that this node is pointing to node 4. So we're going to insert the remaining elements that we have in our link list onto the, uh, the heap, right? So we have node 4, we're going to insert node 4 onto the heap. So we basically going to have no four here, right? So you can see we have no four here. And then in this case, we do the same thing for no one, right? No one has pointed to no three and there's no three pointed no four. So we add no one onto the list. We pop it off, right? We add it onto our result list and then we know we have no three. So in this case, let's redraw this. So basically we heapify, we have no two, no three, no four, right? So we have those nodes uh, that we have left. So what we're going to do then is we just basically do the same. Yeah, right. So we know the node 2 is the smallest. So we pop it off, add it to our list. And then we know that node 2 has a node pointed to node 6. So we have node 6 pointed to here, right? Uh, added to the heap, right? So we also have node 3, node 4, and node 6. Okay, so node 3 is the next node. So we add it to the list. And now we basically remove node 3. Node 3 has a node 4, so we add node 4 on to the heap and then no four is at the top of the heap so we remove it we add it to our list and then you can see that no four is pointed to null so we don't have to add null onto the heap right so there's so the list this list is completely done so now we have this list right here uh sorry this list right here and this list right here right so we have left so we have no four no four pointed no five no six is pointed null right so now we just add no four onto the list we pop it off, and then we have no five, so we add no file onto the heap. We pop no five out, so no five is pointed to null, so we can just pop it off, 
And then we just add no six. The top element that we have on our heap is no six. No six is pointed to null, so we don't have to add anything onto the heap. So pretty much you can see that we can be able to improve the time complexity down to a big O of n times log k, right? So this log k uh, will be more faster compared to this one, right? Compared to just k. So this will basically improve the time complexity down to n times log k, right? So now let's take a look at the code. And basically what I did here is, um, so the solution is pretty simple. I basically define a min heap and this min heap, uh, which keeps the smallest element that we have on the top of the heap, right? And then what we're gonna do is that for each and every single element, right? If the current node is null, right? Then we can just continue. Otherwise, what we're gonna do is that we're just going to add a current node onto the heap. So then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna have our result list. And basically we're gonna have a dummy node that basically uh, is a dummy that has a pointer that points to the nest node, right? And the pointer that, and then the, the, the dummy node dot nest is basically the head node of the result list, right? Because of here, right? So I have a pointer that's equal to current, current is equal to dummy, right? So while the min heap is, is not equal to empty, right? It's not, uh, it's not empty. We're just going to take the top element that we have on our min heap out of it. And then we're just going to say current dot nest, right? Is equal to top. So you can see that like we can have a current node, like this is a dummy, right? We're just going to get current dot nest, right? It's going to point to the head node, no one, right? Dot nest is equal to top. Current is equal to current dot nest, which is going to get the current pointer point to here. So if the top dot nest does not equal null, so if this node dot nest does not equal null, then we're just going to add the remaining, the head node, uh, the, the nest node onto the min heap, right? So basically we add that to the min heap and then we're going to get the current node point to the, the, cur uh, the current node point to the, the, um, the, the, the last node that we inserted onto our uh, result list. And then we're just going to move on to the nest element, right? And basically at the end, we're just going to return the head node of the result list. And this is basically how we solve this problem uh, in a big O of n times log k for the time complexity.